Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alduin, and today I want to show you how to run the Mossberg 500 shotgun. Now this here is Lucille, and Lucille is thirsty. Check it out, guys. This is something that a lot of Americans pride themselves on having one. Um, I know a lot of my friends and family, they love the idea of having a Mossberg around. Um, it's known as the mess maker. It's known as the boomstick. It's known as the machine that can get the work done. I've named mine Lucille. And today we're just going to dive right into how to use this bad boy. Um, first off, this is not your typical Mossberg. There has been some modifications, some slight modifications. I put a, I've added a slide, a side rail, which is what holds these dummy rounds that we have in here. And then also you'll notice that the um, barrel on Lucille here, our Mossberg 500, isn't smooth. We've got a couple holes and things here. And those holes uh, allow the shotgun to cool down because when you're running a lot of rounds through the shotgun, it will overheat uh, this perforated area will allow your skin to make contact with the plastic area or the, or the polycarbonate area uh, and not burn your skin. So that's very important. Um, you only get a, you only get burned a couple of times before you realize um, I need to do something about it. So um, I definitely wanted to put one of those on here uh, pretty quickly. Uh, another thing you should know about the Mossberg 500 is then as just many shotguns um, in this country, when they are uh, set up, there's actually a plug inside. Um, I've taken the plug out. Um, I do have to warn you guys, please don't look down the barrel of a gun. I know I can't, sh so many people on YouTube have looked down barrels of guns um, because you're on the camera, I can do this, but uh, the barrel, it will actually hold the plug inside. So you have to actually disassemble the gun, this little thumb screw area that you see here. And then that will have, uh, this is the magazine actually that holds the uh, rounds inside. So I'm going to show you here the bottom of the magazine. This is how you can tell if the shotgun is actually loaded. We're also going to go through the proper way to unload a shotgun. A lot of law enforcement unload it improperly. So we're going to show you the right way. It's kind of hard to do with just one hand. So I may have to put this thing down. You have to kind of uh, bear with me because, you know, we have this wonderful mic. And I want you guys to hear my wonderful voice going through your wonderful ears. But I can't do that with both hands. It's safe to hold the shotgun. So I'm gonna have to figure that out for you guys. Um, so what, what is the first thing you do when you pick up any firearm, right? Any firearm you pick up is to check and see if it's loaded. How do you do that with a shotgun? A couple key areas. Um, of course, people when people think of a pump shotgun, this is a pump shotgun. You have this area here uh, that you see in all the movies, right? All the guys like to rack this thing back and forth. Well, if you actually own a shotgun and use one, you'll realize that you can do that all you want and it won't go anywhere. Uh, so something something has to release what they call the action, right? On the bottom of a Mossberg 500, it's different on different shotguns, but on the bottom of a Mossberg, this little guy right here, this little guy right there. So it's supposed to be used by putting your kind of your finger here on it when you're using it. So let's say you're using it in order to work the action and then fire the gun, you actually have to drop. Now it opens up. Now you get access to the action here. So see, it won't go in nowhere until you press. If you release it, it will open. Now, with the action open, if the gun has no ammunition inside of it, you can see how that little spring item pops up, right? So now you know that, that, that the gun is actually unloaded. You can see in there that, that it's unloaded. Now, I'm gonna show you the improper way to do this. First thing, we're gonna show you how to load it, right? Um, and you might be wondering why I have this thing staggered. Like what staggering is when you have your ammunition in different directions. We're going to show you why I have that. But obviously it's easier to access the bo this bottom rail here. It's easy to access. Make sure your brass is always facing you, right? The end of these rounds, they have a little bit of brass. 
make sure it's always facing you. So once it's in there, it's ready to go. For, you, for my guys who've played Halo, it's the same situation as a Space Marine. Push it up, and now it's hugging it. Now it's in there, right? You can see that it's locked in there now. Now that weapon is ready to go. Now, you might be wondering, where is the safety on the Mossberg 500? Mossberg's safety is on the top of the weapon. And what I always say is that if you can't see blood, you're not ready to kill, right? You see red, red is dead, ready to go, right? So, once it's in there, it's literally as simple as pulling the trigger. Now, we usually don't dry fire uh, weapons, but a shotgun you're actually fine to, uh, a shotgun you're actually fine to dry fire. Revolvers, you gotta be really careful with dry firing because we're gonna get into that when we start talking about how to deal with a, a, a revolver. The pin is not that fragile in a shotgun. So you could, if you wanted to, you could pull that trigger. So you could actually aim, you could actually aim and fire like that. And then in order to Again, like you see that, I can't actually work the action until I press. And you see what happens here? That guy is thrown in there so you can get that customary flying out of the shotgun. Now, what I've seen a lot of police do when they're trying to check to see if these guys are loaded or not, because a lot of people are afraid of this shotgun. Even my wife is afraid of this shotgun. Again, many police officers are afraid of shotguns, right? Because they're, they're boomsticks, they're loud, right? Um, how do you unload this bad boy, right? Well, first off, when you put your hand on the weapon, make sure for Mossberg, do you see blood? That could be dead. Put the blood away. Now that locks that trigger, so that trigger can't fire easily. Shotguns, if dropped, will fire anyway, whether you have uh, your um, whether you have your safety on or not. So be careful, be mindful of that, that if you're gonna have your shotgun in what they call the cruiser ready configuration, if you're gonna load ammunition in here, keep it loaded, just know that if it drops, there's a risk that that pin may fire, striking the back of this uh, brass in a real live round and could, it could actually fire, so be careful. If you notice a way that a lot of shotguns and, and police cars are mounted, they're mounted in a in a position where it's kind of mounted away from hurting anyone inside the car, kind of up mounted. Same thing with your home. If you're gonna mount your weapon or if you're gonna have a weapon in the home anyway, I always point the weapon away from the family. It's just good habits to have to protect you and the people that you love. So unloading the shotgun, right? The proper way, right? We're going to press that button to release the action. So again, release the action here. Um, it, there's a couple ways to do it, actually. I should show you the easiest way, actually. The easiest way to unload a Mossberg 500, there's a little clip here. It's a little tiny clip here. There's a little clip, and you can get your finger in that clip and see what happened to that round. That round is now loose, and it's ready to come out. actually stuck today so so because of that I actually did have to work the action you usually don't have to work the action in that situation but this is the reason why you want to know how to release the action because as you see right on film there was a malfunction even with a relatively new weapon um, what we don't want you doing is racking it because that, that there's a chance that, that one of the rounds could go off it's a lower chance, but it's not the safest way. Let's see if we can do it again by pressing that little area here. Yeah, and now it come out the way it's supposed to. It's like it's just a little tight for some reason. And they come out. Let's try this again. Push it. Now, to speed load these things, you really don't need a lot of precision um, because usually when you pull this bad boy out in the middle of the night, it's because you're, you, you heard something, right? You think someone's in your home. You almost can literally jam it in almost any direction that is kind of going in an upward direction and it'll get in there. Um, some people find it easier to just drop it in and to put their finger in and slide it up. Drop it in, finger, slide it up. So 
stick in. It's like a little side area here. Press that, and when it's working properly, it's just a little stuck, it comes right out. Again, you shouldn't see any brass to make sure that the shotgun is unloaded. Now, let's get to the reason why I have my why I have it staggered. Probably wondering why. Again, as you can see, this is very easy to kind of get and go in here, right? Well, there's another position that shotgun enthusiasts love to do is to put it right, to put the round in right through the actual top side of the weapon. So you can actually press your action release button here, open the action and go from the top and put the brass in like that. Right? When you do that, and it's just loaded in, if you take the action and pull it forward, it will load the weapon. Now that may seem slow right here, but in the heat of the moment, grabbing that while it's extended and dropping it in, it's actually pretty fast. It's actually a lot faster than going underneath and doing all this in the middle of a battle. Like you literally You literally could grab one you literally can grab one from the top and it's already ready so staggering is important depending on your style also I know some of you guys um, have reservations about actually maiming people so um, there is a, there is a there is an idea that some people might want to place a less than lethal ammunition and maybe load it from the top. I, I'm not into that because I feel like if you're going to pull out a weapon at this point, then you probably should use the weapon that will cause death because this is a more surefire way to make sure someone stopped in your home. You have to remember we're talking about someone who is um, breaking into your home, right? We're not talking about someone that if we're not sure, right? And then again, the, the reason for these side reels and things is there's areas on this weapon that put flashlights. And you know, we've already talked about flashlights here on this channel. You can actually attach that same flashlight right to a mount that's on the side of your weapon, right? I don't have a, I don't have an area to mount this on this weapon just yet, but I will soon. And uh, you can actually have it where now you can illuminate your target. Now you can illuminate your target in the middle of the night, so. That's something to keep in mind. Now, shotguns are a, a little heavy too, so some of you guys may find it, may struggle to actually use these weapons depending on your upper body strength. Just keep that in mind. Uh, that, that, that that's going to be a challenge and if it is going to be a challenge I suggest you start getting into working on your upper body strength because it just makes it easier to maneuver right like I know you see I know you see my body like flexing and see my muscles coming because I'm trying to hold this thing like it's, it's I'm used to it now I will say before um, I had pit bulls and I was training them this was a bit cumbersome to move around it was heavier than what I was used to but I got used to it I got used to it so um, in conclusion, let's just do this one more time. Let's show you really quickly how to run this shotgun. Remember, it does have, Mossbergs do have a top mounted safety system. So remember, if you don't see red, it's not ready to go. When you see red, red means dead, ready to go, right? When you run it, load it the regular way, take one, take one, push it in. Take one, push it in. Take one, push it in. Right? When you want to unload the weapon, remember there's an area here that lets it come straight out here. Spring loaded. Again, this is where your plug will be if this is a new weapon. There'll be a plug in here that you can access through turning this little thumb screw and getting your plug out. Now, I will say in the state of Maryland where I reside, um, you're not supposed to have the plug out while you're hunting. I know, I know who's gonna put the plug back when you go back. 
You just have to make sure that you don't have too many rounds in your weapon. If memory serves me correctly, Merlin won't, won't allow you to have more than five rounds in the shotgun while hunting. So that's just something to keep in mind. When you're in the range, they don't care. Like, since it's not about being fair to, fair to wildlife at that point, you're literally training to save your life or those for people that you love. So they're not really too big on checking your rounds when you go in there. The guy that, that taught me how to do this, he does it this way. He'll stagger one. The idea is supposed to be that you're firing. See how it went in there? Firing. That's the way that's run. So there you have it guys, how to run a Mossberg 500. If you have a Mossberg 500, please be safe. They're legal to buy for most people uh, in the country because they're considered long guns. So you shouldn't have any issue going to go pick one up unless you have some kind of weird thing on your, on your record. If you enjoyed this video, watch another one. I'll see you in the next video.